So take a second, subscribe, hit the thumbs up. If you want to hit the notification bell, you go ahead and do that. If not, I'm okay with that. But if you subscribe and hit the thumbs up, that helps us out a lot. If you're listening to us on iTunes, give us a like and uh, leave a review. If you think we suck, tell us we suck, but make it a five-star you suck. Because that's the only thing that helps. Hold on, stop. Welcome back to the Shit Show 2.0. Okay, Boomer. Damn millennials. Wow. <laughs> Did not know that. Even flirters who, who are obviously mentally ill. Oh, this is going to go downhill real quick. What is going on? And welcome to Take On The World with... Y'all's truly children. And... Oh. Lexi. And Lexi. The podcast therapy dog has escaped. He's yeah. abandoned. He evacuated the jump ship. So, uh, it's been... One week. Oh, it has been one week. Oh, yeah, look at that. How about that? Because you decided to go off exploring the West Virginia. Yeah. It's been two weeks. I wasn't here last weekend. I, it was, it's a song. Oh. Oh, you were being quippy. Yes. Quippy? Quippy. 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 Um, we're back, and we have a local topic to go and do local local this is lehigh valley allentown's first and one of the youngest serial killers in the united states do you know the allentown had a serial killer no i could only imagine it's a big area i just would not think that allentown wouldn't have a serial killer reading i could see <laughs> We'll have to look up Reading next time. Yeah, we'll do. I'm sure. So, this is Harvey Miguel Robinson. All right, Har- Harvey. Harvey Miguel Robinson. Harvey Keitel. Who is younger than me. By four years. Was born December 6, 1974. Uh, his occupation was pretty much just being a dirtbag. Cool. Uh, mm-hmm. Little side note, this this guy was actually locked up at Lehigh County Prison while I worked there. And these, when he, when he got locked up finally for these murders, uh, it was just after I left. So he was there for something else? <clears throat> yes, yes. We'll, we'll get to that. Excellent. I'm surprised John didn't say that because Johnny's Johnny Jump Ahead. <laughs> just wait a minute. Get him warmed up. Get him warmed up. <laughs> So, hey, before we get in, does anything happen this week? Uh, I played a bunch of Smite, and I'm going to a Magic tournament later. Mm, that sounds like a good time. Magic. Magic. That Magic. sounds like a good nerdy time. It's actually a pre-release for the new set that's coming out in Magic that is all Dungeons and Dragons based. <laughs> so, I was like, yeah, I guess I should get the pre-release. Johnny? Um, no, I got the... <laughs> I got that magnet that I, the magnet fishing thing that I bought offline and uh, I got to stuck to the side of my seat on the passenger side you of my car. Get I could not get that <laughs> bastard off. It, it, was, I, it was so hard. I had to like, like, like punch it off the, the end of it and like slide it long ways. And uh, that fucker's strong. So, other than that. No. Yeah, one of those magnets to drop into the bottom of the lake and pull stuff up. Yes. Isaiah has one of those. Hmm? Did he ever find anything? Mm-mm. I don't no. think he ever used it. They got one. <laughs> but he got it. <laughs> we used it on his um his countertop in his room. His metal, like a sheet metal. We used it on it and it was funny. You mean used it on his countertop? Yeah, metal. like we put it on his countertop and tried to pull it off. Oh. <clears throat> Did it? Eventually. Not easily. Do those things are strong, and I think it's depending on what kind of metal you have. And I think it's what what angle you you attach it yeah. to. Because mm-hmm. like some things you would attach it to, it's like boop. I'm like this thing ain't that strong, but it attached to the chassis that my the passenger seat was 
attached to, and I could not, I could not move that thing. <sighs> I almost had to, I almost had to like like hit it with something to like knock it off the the, the chair. I almost said I had to beat it off. <laughs> you walk into that one. <laughs> yeah, that's why I didn't say it. I had to beat my chair off. <laughs> You're so desperate, you beat the chair off. <laughs> I um last weekend took a trip to West Virginia to spend some more time with Robin B. Um, oh, the stories from that trip. I will uh, link somewhere up here above me the uh, road trip that me and John took down to West Virginia, and I will also wait. How did he do it? Sub- subscribe to our Patreon to hear the yeah extra <laughs> extra 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 uh the stories from the trip. I actually have a Patreon, but I, just, like, I don't have it set up really. Just kidding. We don't have a Patreon. Yeah. I do. Oh, you do? <laughs> it's not on there. It's not set up. It's only for nothing. It's only for uh, close friends. Wink, wink. So, um, I also put a video of Stop our... Stop that. Do not yawn. I can't do anything. How dare you abuse my pen like that. This is my pen now. <clears throat> I got like 50, 50 of them. Well, <laughs> good, because <laughs> now you have 49. The pen was in my premises. Hey, you know what I've been trying? Me. Now it's gone. I've been trying uh, calligra- calligraphy. Mm-hmm. So oh, I, Chelsea does that. Chelsea's awesome at that. It's really hard. Like, I don't know. I think it's the pens that I've been getting that they don't really, like. I need hard. a brush tip pen. Yeah, I bought a couple. It's, it, it's been a process. I bought about, like, two or three pens, and I wasn't happy with them. The one just, like, leaks ink all over the place. Yeah. And uh, I got, I think it was a Sharpie or Speedball calligraphy pen, but you can't really tell, like, when, you, when you're when you doing your thing, like, the lines all look the same. They're, they're like, the same thickness. Yeah, Um. I, you see that. Like, just for fun, like, I didn't do it for anything. Yeah. But um, I use, there are these Crayola dual-tip pens. One side's a brush, one side's, like, a bullet nib. Yes. They're really good for it. You I saw that. You know how to hold it and, like, where it Yeah, I saw it that, in. but then I was going, like, towards, like, the traditional, like, fountain pen with, mm-hmm. like, the two With metal the tips. Yeah, yeah. Now I found, like, <laughs> sometimes you press so hard, like, you scrape through the fucking paper. Well, yeah, because that's not how you're supposed to press. I don't know. Well, that's why you gotta practice. You learn this shit. You have to practice. You're just not gentle enough. So I'm trying. I'm trying to. And then I bought these two tips that were like three, like, it looks like a fork. Mm-hmm. But they don't fit into the pen that I have, so I was thinking of just like making, you know, a, a stick, maybe getting like a brush stick and like drilling the hole out. Stick that thing in there and you just dip it in the ink and then do like do your thing. Good. I know Chelsea does it and she's she's freaking awesome at it. It looks mm-hmm. like it looks like it was printed on a printer. Yeah. Oh no, I said I w I've always been uh fascinated with that. But I suck at it. <laughs> I suck at it. So whatever. Don't judge me. So can I get back to West Virginia now? No. Okay. No. Well you asked what we did this week. Yeah, no, and then you guys stopped, and I started talking. Yeah, you did. It's all your fault. Now I want some mm. White Castle. White Castle. Why? Yeah, because... What do you mean, why? You have to ask why I want White Castle? I don't like White Castle. Uh, she's not my, my daughter. She's not my daughter. I don't know you. Anymore. I don't like onions. She's not my daughter. Well, you can get them without onions. Well, so no, they, they stew them in the onions. Yeah, they stew them in the onions. Well, then just walk away. Well, that's what I do. That's Get why I, they make chicken. That's why I don't go to White good. Castle. No, the good. chicken sliders no, were not as good. It was dry. They needed, like, mayo or you something. You know where I go instead of... <laughs> she goes to Bojangles. Anywhere near White Castle, Popeye's. Well, Popeye's is banging. Popeye's is banging, and they have really good chicken sandwiches. Oh, yeah. I think your dad's... Uh... Slider. Well, we didn't make sliders, but your hamburgers were banging. Smash burgers. Yes. Well, and well, we're going to do these sliders next time with the Hawaiian rolls. I'm all for it. You gotta get the shit. 
That's up to you. Oh, I'll do it. I'll do it. Whatever you want, I'll get it. That's your charge. I'll get it. You have one job. I have one. get it. Don't forget. Hawaiian Rose. Damn it, Micah. What do you want, want me to bring? Yeah, I'll bring all the fixings. And, where are the burgers at? <laughs> Mike, do it. We need to get ground beef. <clears throat> really? Mm-hmm. Ground beef? What ground kind beef? of ground beef? 80-20. 80-20. Or smash burger? <laughs> Onions? No. Mm-hmm. Hate those. Mm-hmm. Onions. Hate those. Onions. Just burger, onion, cheese, bread. Mm. Well, it yeah, went off again. We'll be on the side, so. It just went off. Yep. We don't have video for we this We have no video episode. for this So, anybody who tuned into YouTube to watch us, I guess you are ass out. Fuck you. <clears throat> it's the way the cookie crumbles. Sometimes. Anywho, we got. We Can I go one. back to fucking West Virginia, bro? Throw it back on. No, I'm gonna leave it off. I'm fucking. I'm done. Yeah, we gotta. Uh, right. We gotta. So we just had like an hour long rant for nothing. Yeah. Continue. Really? Yeah. Are you why, sure? Why are you mad dogging me? Why are you mad dogging me? You done? You done? Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Continue. Anyway. We're in West Virginia, I guess. All I wanted to say was one thing. All right, so don't got to face the camera anymore. All right, I'm down here. What's that one thing you wanted to say? I was just going to throw up a video of the fireworks display that we had while we were down there. Mm-hmm. Okay. But fuck you. Because we have no video now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault. I blame you. So let's talk about... <laughs> Harvey Miguel Robinson. Yes. So he is known as Allentown's first serial killer. And one of the youngest serial killers in the United States. But but not the youngest. No. The actual distinction of the youngest serial killer, you would think, would be Craig Price, who was also known as the Warwick Slasher. Uh, he committed crimes in Warwick, Rhode Island. They also called him the Iron Man because he was the, the huge... Hunk and baby face football player. And what, what we, when was this around? A year? Hang on. We're going to get there. Johnny, Johnny jump, jump ahead. ahead. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, no, I don't get there. Uh, this is actually, um, I think it's in the 90s. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, at 15 years old, uh, he killed four of his neighbors to become the youngest serial killer in his, U.S. history. One of the youngest. He was not the youngest. Uh, he was caught, confessed, and convicted. And however, Rhode Island law requires him to be at least age 21. Uh, so he was released like five years after he committed the murder. 1989, by the way. Okay. And he was also born in October of 1974. Well, hang on. Let me, really? let me, yes, let me, October 11th. Let me go back to this. He's 50 years old. Mm-hmm. And he confesses and is convicted. Like, really? Did they hammer him into a confession? Or it doesn't no, I think, I think he walked in and smiled and just confessed. <clears throat> I, I didn't really? read. I didn't read the whole thing. This next one it, it goes way back to 1859. Uh, Jesse Pomeroy of South Boston, who's born November 29th, 1859, died September 29th. Uh, 1932, at 12 years old, wow. he was the youngest person in Massachusetts convicted of first degree murder, was sentenced to death. Uh, by and I, I actually want to do this as a topic, so yeah. I'm not gonna go too this deep into it because this kid was sadistic, and I think they, they he had like nine or ten victims. Yeah. Uh, when he was convicted, he was convicted to be hung. Um, he was sentenced to be hung. But no governor would sign the execution order, and they ended up commuting his sentence twice. Yeah. Uh, once to life in solitary confinement in 1876, and again commuted to uh, life in prison in 1917. Um, there was two confirmed victims, but 
but he's suspected to have way more than it says nine or ten here, but way more than that. Yeah. Um, Twelve years old. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. dude. He, he uh, w- w- I, I really, I want to do this as a topic. So th- this might be my next topic for our next show. All right, so save it for the next. I will. I'm not gonna go too far into it because it, the kid was sadistic. <clears throat> um, so now back to our show. Uh, Harvey grew up in a troubled family. His father was an alcoholic, and he was arrested for manslaughter after beating his mistress to death. Wow. Yeah, so he was a he was a piece of shit too, and apparently, um, from the research I had, uh, Harvey like idolized his dad, uh, piece of shit and all. That makes sense. So uh, he grew up Sorry. physically and emotionally. Watch out for that mic. Yeah, he grew up physically, emotionally abused. Uh, in school, he was very athletic, and he actually won awards for the essays that he wrote. Um, and. At a young age, he had several run-ins with the law. Uh, he was nine years old when he was arrested the first time. Like, can you imagine being arrested at nine years old? Remember when I stole that candy bar? Yeah. Can you let me take it back? Yep. That was like being arrested. Yeah. <laughs> Lexi was little. We were at the, uh, we were at a supermarket in the area. We won't say which one. <laughs> And she wanted this candy bar, and I'm like, no, 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 no. And she just grabbed it, and, like, she had to know what she was doing. You had to know you were hiding it. Ha, listen, I was probably just like, I just really want this, though. Like, screw you, I want this candy bar. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we get out to the car, and she whips out this candy bar. I made her take it back in, pay yeah. for it, and then give it back. Yeah. And apologize for taking it. And I made her go in and do it herself, but she was bawling snot bubbles the whole time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. But she never did that again. And no, that's no, not true. You did do it one more time. When did I do it? You stole a thermometer once. The paddle was you before, before that. It was before that. I was probably a baby. Yeah. Nah, you weren't a baby. I was probably like grabbing age. All kids do that at grabbing age. <laughs> Everybody steals at least one thermometer in their life. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> And got, you're welcome, I, I because we caught, probably needed a thermometer. I got caught for stealing pens. Wow. They were, uh, like, the calligraphy pens. Of course they were. It's come full circle. <clears throat> That's why your pen doesn't work for you. Exactly. No, callig- <laughs> <laughs> no calligraphy pen will ever listen to you anymore. Lucky for me, I've never stolen anything. Yeah, okay. Anyways, listen to me. <laughs> why are you written on me? <laughs> so, um, in in school at that time, he was showing signs of severe conduct disorder. Um, he had uh, camera went off again. Oh, it wasn't recording before. Yeah, but it just went off. Yeah, it went off and came back on again. There's a ghost. It's not a ghost. The he's, he's right. The battery's just drained it's because it wasn't ghost. plugged in. Every time we've used it before, it's been plugged in for a week at a time. It's just a ghost. It's a battery. It's a battery. Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, his arrests were for um, burglary and resisting arrest when he was nine. <laughs> like a nine year old beating up the cops. Right, like beating up the cops, like, I'm not coming with you. You're resisting arrest, son. Fuck you, pigs! <laughs> uh, he was also addicted, a, a drug addict, and he showed signs of being a psychopath at a very young age. Was he a drug addict at nine? Um, I think this is after he was nine. Okay. Uh, he had an inability to distinguish the difference between right and wrong, and held any form of authority in contempt. At, uh, as his threats and outbursts intensified with age, both peers and authoritative figures began to fear him. And he really took a, a lot of joy in people <clears throat> fearing him. Weirdo. Time to go? Yeah. His MO was to stalk women and rape, beat and murder them by stabbing or strangulation uh, during home invasions when they were alone. Entering through open windows. And wore gloves and a forensic... As a forensic countermeasure. 
Countermeasure. <laughs> read that one. Clear my head, bro. That's a really long word. If a victim survived the attack, he would stalk them for days so he knew when to strike again. So that's creepy. That's fucking... That's what a lot of women fear. Like, yeah. Like, okay, he, he came in my home one night, but I fear he's going to come back. And I feel like like most like serial killers don't come back, but this guy does. I'm going to tell you something. <clears throat> this guy was so determined. I'm going to be Johnny Jump ahead for a second. Because... Don't you take my fucking role. I'm going to be Mike, Mikey okay. Malinger forward, whatever. <laughs> whatever. This guy, one of his victims, he returned to that house <clears throat> four times. That's great. Uh, fuck? Did she still live there? Yes. But yeah. What? The last time is when he was stopped, and they, they actually had a, a police officer living in the house because so, he, he had been back already. At what point did she not like get a machete or a revolver or well, they, they, a shotgun? Or they, well, I don't be that much Johnny jump ahead, so. All right, well, let's, 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 we'll get there. All right, I'm really Johnny Jump ahead. You jumping, jumping, jumping. Johnny Jump, jump, jump in the fucking head. Now we got there. Uh, Joan Burgart, a 20, 29-year-old nurse's aide. What is it, August 29th? This is August. Actually, it's not August 5th. It's August 9th. August 9th, 1982. See, here's the thing. When I was researching this, I was looking primarily at three different sites. Okay. Of course, I pull up a Wikipedia page, but I always double check that with everything else. Yeah, and uh, the dates, and then the same thing with the uh, the other topic for today. Mm -hmm. The the dates and 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 sequences were were all different. So this is actually August ninth because I got that from a police report. He just okay. wanted so, to uh, to put his birthday in. Well, on the night of August ninth, nineteen ninety two. Robinson broke into the home of 29-year-old Joanne Burgart with the intention of burglarizing it, but he only stole he he stole only fifty dollars from her dresser. Four days later, her dead body was found lying on the living room floor. After one of her neighbors called the police to complain about it, it's like nobody knew she was missing. Stereo was on for three days, and nobody said anything. Nobody knew she was missing. Nobody knew well, I mean, anything. This is the 90s. Like, your stereo could be on for. That ain't going to be a problem. Right, Mike? No. I, I feel like that's weird to just, like, nonstop your stereos on for. Well, it's weird days. now. It's well, weird nowadays. We know people who leave their TV on for their dogs, so. But, yeah, like, in the 90s, like. No. The 90s were star. 90s were. Even the 80s, like, things were different. Like, you didn't really like. Oh my god! Like, her radio's been up for two days. Like, I'm gonna call the police. Like, you didn't give a fuck. That would be suspicious to me. But you didn't give a fuck is what I'm trying to say. Right, like, but like, I don't think that I care so much about the stereo being on. The fact is, it's been on for three days, and that's weird. Maybe. Maybe. Like, I haven't uh, seen anybody. The stereo's still on. What's why? Like, I'd be like, this is weird. Like, I know my... Yeah, but my, what I guess what okay, I'm trying to say is, like, like, you didn't think there was, like, some kind of serial, serial killer running around, like, killing no. people. But, like, like, if you're somebody's neighbor, you know what their daily life is. You know? Like, you know, like, what their daily routine is. You see them go, leave, come, go. She hasn't left her house for three days. Her stereo's on. Yeah. No, I see That's what you're weird. Yeah, it is weird. Like, I think it's not just that her stereo's on, you're but right, like you're right. You're that right. you don't see anybody come or go out of the house. You don't. You're right. You I know. Mean, I, I think that's like probably why a lot of these scumbags got caught. It, it was they did stupid shit. Well, a lot of time people don't pay attention to the comings and goings of their neighbors. No, they don't. I they don't. Do. Like, have you ever noticed like how oblivious people are? If I yeah. see the same car come down this road more than once in a day, I'm like, what's going on here? A little bit different here than in Allentown. Well, like when you're okay, different. I'll say this. Like when I don't know why is why are people coming around this this neighborhood all the time and find no, so somebody you, you get. A, I don't know. I just notice people. You you get an alarm raised when you see a different car. Like what? Especially if it goes up and down. 
What the hell is going on? If I see a freaky van with three puppies and ice cream, I'm going out to check it out. And me driving. I mean, I will, but... And mine! Nah! You want some free puppies and ice cream? Come on in! But, uh, like, seriously, like, if you, you know, see a car driving down... Oh, I forgot what that was going to say. If you see a car driving down... Yeah, I heard that part, but, uh... (laughs) He's like, yeah, I was here for that part, not here for this part, though. Yeah, he screwed me up. He screwed me up, man. It's okay. Your thought was not relevant because it no, is it's very relevant. weird. It's a, no, it's relevant. It's relevant. Hell yeah, it's relevant. You done? No, I was just watching her disappear all her text messages. Oh, it was just... I saw... I don't know. If I had no that. fucking clue what the fuck I was going to say. It was relevant. Honestly, and I'm just being 100% honest for all of us, we never have a clue what the fuck you're going to say. Yeah, Thanks, it's Mike. true. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. So now, when 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 this when he did this in ninety, oh, wait, oh, wait, hold on. No, never mind. I forgot. So in 1992, you was... were supposed to be recording. No, no, I turned it, it off. I turned it off so we could tape the next one and maybe the battery be charged. Um, he was 17 years old when when he committed this crime. So, 92, uh, he was arrested on unrelated crimes after this murder. He was arrested for burglary. He spent eight months in prison. And then that's when I worked down there. What is he, like 10 now? <laughs> the fuck is 17. 17. I just He's said he was 17. Sorry, Michael. Pay attention. Sorry, Michael. Oh. Stupid question. So he's 17 at this time. He gets arrested for burglary. Spends eight months in prison. That's when you're there. <laughs> you're such a dick, bro. <laughs> I, don't I, mean, I learned from the best. I don't even know why we like each other. <laughs> then, after he gets out of prison, I'm assuming. Yeah. You got to do this? <sighs> I, I think it's apparent. Nobody else is. <laughs> <laughs> so then he gets out of prison. <laughs> June 1993, Charlotte Schmoyer, 15-year-old newspaper carrier for the morning call. I remember this happening. She's a student at Lewis E. Dyriff. 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 Dyriff High School. I don't know what that is. High school. That's where, I would say Dyriff. That's where Love Bug worked. Dyriff. Really? Um, all I know is... We went to Allentown School District. Allentown School District is Allen and Dyriff. Hey, Love Bug, is that where you work? Yeah. Oh, I work there. Yeah, that's he was supposed to be there today. But he no showed again. Really? No, he knew. I knew he wasn't coming, but I, I invited him to come up and do this. Yeah. I'm still gonna dig in his ass, though. Oh yeah. Um, I dig in his ass every time. So uh, I said a picture of, of what I I, I uh, barbecued today. Mm, so good. It was so good. So at the school that Love Bug worked at in 1993, she's a student. Um, a year after this is a year after the first murder, she's attacked. He attacked the, this young girl, Charlotte, um, when she's delivering papers in the morning. He abducts her, he takes her to a wooded, wooded area, rapes her, and stabs her to death, slashing mm. her throat in the process. So Jeez. this is going to be messy. You know, like, Fucking when these Christ. people, um, when these people, like, found her, this was bad. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's was insane. Right buried somewhere and found, like, five months later. Well, he, here's the bad part. So after she was m- murdered. And this is, like. Like, right after. He's, he's fleeing the scene of the crime. He's almost apprehended as he's pulled over for a speeding violation, but Robinson received his speeding ticket and left. Yep. Does, so does that remind that you? That close. Does that remind you of somebody? <sighs> Ramirez. Ramirez, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. There were that There were a lot, of, a lot of people almost get caught like that. Uh, Ted Bundy, that's how he got caught. Yeah. Um, so in the, in days later, uh, Robinson broke into the home of John and Denise, Sam Cowley, and burglarized it, stealing John's gun collection. No, hold on. He needs to, he needs to be put to death just for that. Okay, but anyways, he and also drank his whiskey. He also drinks their whiskey. <laughs> drink their yeah. whiskey. You son of a bitch. And what, at this time he was like 18? Well, hold on. Let me uh, go back. Let me go back to the. Almost 19. Almost 19. The drinking the whiskey. Was that. Before or after? He's it's during the burglary. During, during the burglary, he's drinking their fucking whiskey. He, he shot and he kills him. He shot. Hold on, he didn't kill him. Hang on. Pay attention. We're not even here yet. Johnny fucking jump ahead. <laughs> so three days later, Robinson broke into the home of another woman 
with the intention of raping and killing her. However, when he saw the woman sleeping with her boyfriend, he decided to kill her daughter instead. Robinson raped and strangled the child, but she managed to survive. It's believed that Robinson had stalked the mother for several days beforehand, as he did with the other victims. Okay. The, the, so the child survived or the mother the survived? They all the survived. Everybody survived. Everybody survived. He tried to uh, strangle her. So, so I was going back to the other... The Sam Kelly. No, what I was going back to the other thing was... You have the uh, the Golden State Killer. Mm-hmm. You guys familiar with that? Yeah, of course. Like, he would go in, do his crimes. <clears throat> and then he would sit there and he would eat food from their mm-hmm. fridge. Yeah. Make a big plate of food. Yeah. So this guy, kind of like, seems to do that beforehand. Right? I'm like, it was, I'm like, it was like, wow. Like, this, he went into the house, started stealing shit, and he's like, oh, there's some fucking whiskey. <laughs> I don't think they were what? home when he broke in the Sam Callie house the Did first time. Did you say home? <laughs> you said home. Home. Maybe I'm uh, converting you to say home. Hasalamu alaikum, my friend. Hasalamu bitch. Anyways. So when he People broke in, so rudely interrupted. <sighs> so when he broke in the first time, they weren't home. So he stole the guns and drank their whiskey. Yeah. Now, eight days later, Robinson returns to the Sam Cali house in the middle of the night with the intention of killing Denise while John was away. Okay, that's, this is, goes back to him stalking them. Yeah. So when he went there the first time, they were supposed to be there. They weren't. They weren't. And he said, well, fuck that. I need to go back when she's home. Yeah, like I gotta. And Johnny, ahead. Johnny, jump ahead's away. Yeah. So this scares me. This this guy is freak, man. He's a this freak. This scares me. Yes, because like when you think about it, like this guy is determined to kill you. Mm-hmm. So it's only going to take like you could sit in your house and be like, oh well, I have a gun, I have this, I have that. But when you have one motherfucker who's determined to kill you, his one goal is to come in there and do destruction. And you can, it's almost like that, that karate shit where like, well, I'm going to go block, 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 block. But you don't fucking know that. This guy's going to come in here and just. <clears throat> yeah, like, like, you can't predict what he's going to do. So this is the second Step time he's come back to the house. So he, he comes in with the intentions of killing Denise while John's away. He enters the house through an open window. Denise wakes up because she hears Robinson's footsteps. She sees him and attempts to escape. As she was running through the front yard, Robinson grabbed and pinned her onto the ground. She bit his arm, and then he repeatedly punched her, cut her lip open, raped her, and tried to strangle her to death. Her screams alerted neighbors, which prompted him to flee from the house. So and the, the only reason this, this got stopped this time is because she got outside the house and neighbors heard something, mm-hmm. and they actually did something. Wait, wait, hold on. They said she, so she did die. No, she didn't die. She did not die. Well, it says he she tried. He tried to her. Her. But her screams alerted the neighbors, so they called the police. When the police arrived, they found a butcher knife wrapped in a napkin lying outside the bathroom door, which means he was going to kill. Oh, yeah, he was going to kill her. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. So then, the next one, we have something that's going to hit close to home for my dad, because... This lady's almost 50 and a grandmother. and she's, I'm not a grandfather. You have two grandchildren. No. Uh, I think she's Jax you old. and Ali. No. I yes. think she just called you old. They are both I know babies. what she called me. <laughs> they are both babies. So anyways, uh, Jessica, Jessica Jean Fortney is 47 years old. She's a grandmother. This is in July of 1993. So one month after the second attempt... On um, Denise Sam Cali, Robinson raped and murdered a woman named Jessica Jean Fortney. She was beaten and stabbed to death, and her body was found lying on the living room floor with blood splattered all over the walls. So, from what my research, I found that, that like the the cops who went in here got physically sick with the blood that was all yeah. over the place. Like it, there was blood everywhere. People who are like beaten and stabbed. Like, that's the worst thing to walk in on. So, just four days later, uh, Robinson returns to Sam Kelly home again. Third time. To finish the job with Denise. He attempted to break into her house and kill her, 
but failed as the back door was equipped with an alarm system. So in the time of it, from his last attempt to this one, they put an alarm system in. And uh, that went off, and he took off. Yeah. So he takes off. He's like, oh, shit. Oh, snap. But... Yeah, but this piece of shit was, like, determined. He tried they realized. Times. Oh, yeah, this is the third yeah. time now. Four times. He comes right. back again. Three, four times. The police are like, yo, this, this guy's not going to stop until his lady's dead, apparently. I would have loved so, to see his face get blasted off at a oh, they, they, 12 gauge. So, the police department sends a young police officer named Brian Lewis to stay at the Sam Cali house in case the killer appeared again. One night, Robinson, who now has a gun... Returns to the house. That's the husband? No. This is the killer. killer. Okay. So he returns back to the house. Lewis heard his attempts at unlocking, at opening the locked doors, and then watched as he broke inside through a window, which was left open on purpose. Lewis then identified himself as a police officer and told him to stop. Please, motherfucker, the police! Instead, Robinson began shooting at Lewis. No way, bitch! (laughs) He fired back. He wounds Robinson, but he escapes, and a trail of blood was found. Hours later, as the police were searching local hospitals, they were called to one while after Robinson showed up to be treated for cuts and a gunshot wound. After trying to escape again, an officer appeared and pointed a gun at him, and Robinson surrendered. Get on the floor, bitch! So, um, fourth time. It took them putting a police officer in the house to have him stop to stop him. And even I know that that wouldn't happen here. Even though no, 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 no. it would not be. They would not be four times. Me, you, everybody with a gun on every uh, every post at his house. Yeah, and and if he got shot, if if he actually got wounded instead of killed, and he took off, uh, there'd be someone like uh, here's here's a short story, just a sidebar. Uh, we went on vacation. I think we went down to Florida. Which one? Uh, it's the only Florida there is. No, I mean, like, which time? <laughs> yeah, I was just wondering. Oh. <laughs> I did the second time. Okay. And um, one of your mom's friends stopped here mm-hmm. to get something out of the garage. Mm-hmm. And while she was here, she pulled in the driveway. And Chuck, the neighbor, comes up with his gun. And the up, up top neighbor came down with, with a gun. gun. Yeah. And she's sitting in the car. She calls us and she goes, can you please call your neighbors and tell them I'm okay to be here? <laughs> yeah, I like, remember that, that. That's how we roll here. That's how it is. Yeah. That's, that's how, how we roll here. You see somebody strange come... This is what I mean when I say it's weird to me that nobody, after three days, was like, oh, I might be fucking wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so, another short story. Some time ago, when Lexi was a young lass, she had a brain tumor. Mm-hmm. And she came home from the hospital, and she's recovering here. Mm-hmm. And I guess one of her friends couldn't come down to the hospital to see her, but he wanted to come, you know. So me, Nathan, and my nephew are here. <laughs> so and this funny. kid, at like like one thirty in the morning. <laughs> and I was like 18, 19, 19. I think I was 19 at the time. <clears throat> 18. You just turned 18 when you had your tumor. Yes, but... Um, it was around your birthday. It was the next year. Because it was after I graduated. So, this kid comes up, parks halfway up the driveway, stops, yeah, gets out of mm-hmm. his car, and walks over to her window. Not to the front door. To my window. Because it was open, the light was on. Did he even tell you he was doing this? Yeah. But, yeah. but she didn't tell us. Right, because I was like, well, who knows if I can care? It's one o'clock in the morning. You won't notice. So. Right, who cares? So, he ultra, could... ultra, ultra <laughs> dad with the, the, the fucking... <laughs> Sonic sounds in his ears. So, uh, Bubba and Nathan go to the bat. Nathan's got a bat. <laughs> yeah. Bubba's got one of my guns. I, I'm at the front door with one of my guns. We'll be here. And I'm like, I just, I just open the door, and I had the gun kind of to my side. I, you know, I don't want to scare anybody if they're supposed to be. <laughs> and Damn. I opened the door and stepped out and just swung the gun around onto my thigh, and I said, "Can I help you with something?" And his eyes just got big. And his girlfriend's in the car screaming, Oh my God, he's got a gun! He's got a gun! <laughs> it was so good. It was so good. And, and the kid's like, I, 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 I'm, and she comes out of the room and she goes, Dad, they're here to see me. <laughs> and I'm like, Lex, at 1.30 in the morning, he needs to come to the front door, not to a window. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, hey. Right, whatever. 
Can you relay the info next time, please? <laughs> right. So I don't fucking kill somebody. <laughs> so the, do- the doors in the back and the front slowly close. Yep. <laughs> Everybody just creeps away from the. We go back walls. to play our video games. Yep. <laughs> Oh, he's that bull out of the chamber right now. <laughs> so, I gotta, I, dude, I gotta pee. What? We're gonna, hey, Herbie, we're gonna stutter. We're gonna go on without you. Yeah, goodbye. Right, you, you, you go Thank baby you. bladder. It. You go pee. Goodbye. You go baby bladder. I don't. Want, I don't want ten ten minutes of silence while you're trying to push out a pee. <sighs> yeah, nobody can hear you because you're not near your microphone. He fucked his back up this weekend because oh that compressor. Lifting that goddamn bullshit fucking thing something. That's what he said. It was it was a metal frame that was made in China. That's all you need to know. No, I think that's mine. Don't waste it. It's not stain. That's stain. Obviously, is it blue? No, that one's not mine. Never mind. I don't care what you do with that. Yours is gold. Mine's blue. Mine's Ford blue. My little can. No, no, no. I'm saying I have two small cans of stain that are blue stain. Oh. Yeah. So, they find his DNA, obviously. They have eyewitness accounts, and there's physical evidence against him. Robinson is sentenced to a combined 97 years in prison with three death sentences. His lawyers were able to get two of the three death sentences removed. Hang on. So, one of the death sentences is still there right now, but he filed an appeal Mm -hmm. um, based on the age he was when the first crime was committed. So, because he was technically a minor. Okay, that's fine. Sure. We already took two away. You still raped and killed people. Right, but the uh, the second one, I don't know why they took it away, because he was over 18. Yeah. 18. Jessica, well, he was over 18 when he killed Jessica. That was nine months after the first, the right. first murder. Exactly. So, dumb. But it, they, they successfully argued, I guess, almost, I think to the Pennsylvania Supreme Court, that he was underage and the the... the the sentence was outside the bounds of the sentencing guidelines of Pennsylvania. Which is stupid. Yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is, but it's stupid. So he has one death sentence remaining as of right now. So while he's in prison, um, Robinson converted to Islam and is currently waiting on death row. He is also suspected of the attempted murder of Lisa Gerhardt, uh, Leslie Gerhardt, uh, apologies, um, committed, committed to... Um, Oh, five years prior. Five years murder. prior, yep, to to the first murder. Um, during the incident, an intruder removed the screen from the bedroom window and entered the house while she was staying over with a friend. The intruder began beating Gerhardt with a brick, but ran away when her friend started to scream. Both Robinson and Gerhardt attended elementary school together, and he is suspected of stalking her via telephone and in person in the weeks prior to the attack. So. This is a chick, so 17, he was 12 mm-hmm. when he attacked the first chick. Yeah. Well, that's all dirty, dude. Yeah. What? That's all dirty. You need to wipe that off. It's punk. Much better. Uh, hey, did you get that, that video I sent you, the punk rock video? <sighs> it's been so bad. That's so good. What? The punk rock video I sent you. No. You didn't get that one? No. You got the other one, though. You watch the other video. Was, Can I get the last one? You got to watch that punk rock video. It's pretty cool. Okay. Um, anyway, so he was like 12, <laughs> breaks into this house, and beats her with a brick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is this America? This, this is, is Allentown. Allentown, dude. Pennsylvania. Oh, God damn it, I knew that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Allentown, you know that now. Not Allentown, Yugoslavia. Yeah. <laughs> So, while the courts often give juvenile defenders much more lenient sentences due to their age, the grisly nature, repetition, and speed of these crimes sparked enough community outrage to lead Robinson, linked to all three murders by DNA evidence, to receive three consecutive death sentences so, and more than 100 years. What did you do with this kid? What you missed, what you missed while you were I gone. I would cut his throat. What you missed while you were gone? Two of his death sentences were overturned. Yes. Not... 
Just the sentencing, not not the conviction. Well, you know how the ju- the well, justice he, system is. He was seventeen for one of the, the first. What murders. would you do with this kid? Uh, he would not be alive. No. I would if if this kid had done this to anybody in my family. I would. Mean, he's not, not sorry. My family obviously. just. Look, just obviously, being a juror outside of the uh, outside of the thing. Oh, a juror. Uh, they got kid- the jurors did the right thing. They, they convicted him. Yeah. They gave him a death Three life sentences. I'm asking you, how, what what would you do? We just said he would have three consecutive life sentences. I'm life not sentences. asking death you sentences. what you would do if he was if that person was part of your family. If you were just a non-biased person sitting okay. in the juror John. and you look this guy. like what, 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 Let me stop you right there and ask you something. Do you want to go upstairs where I can get a brick to bash it into your face and then several more times return to your house and rape you and try to kill you? Bro, what do you think my conviction would be? You never asked me. About what? He was convicted, though. Like, he was convicted. I know, but what, I'm asking you what... He would, uh, he would be convicted. He would be convicted. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm what, saying. What's, like, your end, what, what's your end all? Like, for what? What What? Like, like what I would give not him? Not even go to jail. Just kill him. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's Burn. not our justice system. No. That that would be my justice system. But you never asked so, me. But John, you never asked me. What would you give him? I would kill the fuck up kid. Okay, there you I go. I would put a gun in the back of his head over the train hole. <laughs> Poof! You're done. Gone. Okay, but that's what I mean. Like the severity of these crimes. Like, so there's this case in Japan that I think we should talk about someday, um, where two elementary school girls. Sagawa. No, it's it's oh, about it. That, that went live 58 minutes ago. Nevada Town is what it's called. So I guess what I was trying to say was I felt that you didn't think that I was strict enough. Oh, no, no. I, that's fine. I, like, you thought that I was a, a bleeding heart. Like, oh, let the kid run around the <laughs> justice system. No. No. Fuck that. Like, I understand that's not dude, the justice system. you're 12 system, years old and you did all this shit. Done. Listen, all I'm saying is they need to make some new abortion laws where you can abort up to 18 years after birth. I'm sure my mom would have. <laughs> like, that's like a Thanos on snap that one. if we knew who it would happen to. So, regardless. I don't agree with that one. Regardless. Because I wouldn't be here. <laughs> so, over, over the years, Harley Robinson has filed taxpayer funded appeal after appeal. Of course. Namely, following the. 2012 U.S. Supreme Court decision that deemed death sentences for juveniles unconstitutional, and has succeeded in overturning two of the death sentences. But I don't understand. Bull fucking shit. Only one eight, of them. He was 18 after the second murder. Yes. So, but only one of them, if if any, because I'm sorry, but like, <sighs> you fucked up. Like if you're doing this shit, you fucked up. You done fucked up, A.A. Rod? You done fucked up, Harvey. It's not only you done fucked up, you're fucked up. Yeah. Absolutely. Because could you ever trust that kid to, like... Could you just see this this face breaking? (laughs) Right. Could you ever see him, (laughs) like, coming home with your daughter or your kids, knowing what the fuck he did? No problem. I would never, ever, ever, ever trust this motherfucker. That's a Lehigh County prison uniform right there. Like, that guy would be complete no, with a bullet hole in his fucking eyeball. I would have to look good in navy blue. <laughs> if this would have been my he decision. Needs, he needs to be dead. I just, I feel like there's there's too much... Like, you're There just, is no... There's too much, like, going on in this. Like, Look at him. Look at him. He pisses me off. Just look at him. He looks cocky. There's no reform there. He needs to be dead. He needs look, to be fucking six feet in the ground. This but, is the thing. Like, Hammerly. <laughs> Edit that out. There's no names. There's no names in this. <laughs> Does that look like an officer that we might know from the past? <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, Michael? Yeah. Like, I just... There, there's no... It's like the severity no of your crimes is too much. The exactly. severity of your crimes is too much. Like I would, we should we should put them to experimental, like no. Oh, and Pazuzu was down there. Was he? Drag him yeah. out to a field, attach a fucking explosive to his head, and watch his head blow up. Yeah, there he is. Am I wrong? Mm-mm. Yeah, I, I don't think so. What do you mean? Yeah, is he wearing a dress? It, it looks like a suicide smock. Oh, uh, 
don't know. It's okay. So you I don't know, dude. In that case, like, just let him. Honestly, just honestly, go. I don't, I don't really want you on the planet. I, I just depend on the justice system. Do it. Do it to justice. But for them okay. to overturn, yeah, I, get, I get you. Yeah, to overturn two of the. That's just ridiculous. One of them, yes. I, I okay. Seventeen. That's the law. Whatever. Sure. Blah, blah, okay. Blah, blah. I'll, I'll I'll concede to but, that one. But the second one, I, I, there's no reason. The guy's just a piece of shit. And he's trying to get over. Right. And I don't like it. But you don't feel that he should just be dead and we don't have to deal with, I, I deal think, with him anymore? I think he, he had three death sentences. That one of them should have been carried out by now. Absolutely. This is since... Would you do it? Before I was born. No. Not my place. I would. So here's the thing, and, and I think you, you will agree. If this were... If this had happened to somebody in our family, i.e. maybe me or anyone else, really, but in this situation it's happening to women, if this would have happened to me, he would have done it. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It, it, so, it, that's what I was trying to say earlier. If it was somebody in my family, I would visit him in jail and I would let him know the safest place you can be is behind bars. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. And like that, what I'm saying, though, is like imagine like the family in the situation like... You're gonna, you're I'll gonna take away you. two of these fucking death sentences? Like, are you kidding me? Like, at that point, that's one of those things where, like, you see, like, people carry out like vigilante murders, like, like for vengeance or revenge. Like, it's people who show up at court hearings and shoot people. I was gonna think of that yeah. the, the father who jumped across the yes. table at the guy who raped his daughter. I, that is I, I that is what would happen. We stand as a country where, like, you know, you have all these people incarcerated, sure. and. and, and uh, it's just like you deal with it. It's like, okay, so this guy mm-hmm. is going to get put to death. And we're like, like for me, like if anything ever happened to my daughter or my, my loved ones, like I'm coming to gun for you. Oh yeah, absolutely. And I think everybody can agree with that. And I understand that that's just not how society works, but, uh, like, I got nothing else <laughs> left to lose. Like you're the last face that you're going to mm-hmm. see at that point. Is absolutely. Mine. Absolutely. I agree. 100%. So I think we're all on the same page with this one. This one's a this guy's a piece of shit. And he's still in jail. He's still in jail. He's still in Pennsylvania State Prison. <clears throat> is that where he is now? Yeah. Uh, which what jail is he in? I'm not sure. Is he in Phoenix? No. Google. Uh, when I say I'm not sure, that means I don't know. <laughs> he's gonna check. Should I name some more? Go ahead. Keep naming them. I don't know any other ones. What's up, State? Wayhar. Yep. Wayhar Farms? Dude, their milk's awesome. There it is. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Is that made by inmates? <laughs> yes. Yes. Fucking milk is great. Great ice cream. Chocolate milk. <clears throat> Look at him. Look at him. I just want to... I just want to fucking... Just take a healthy bit. That big fucking... The big healthy bit and just drill it through his fucking head. Ready for... He's... There you go. Oh, so, Death Row. He's where with Death Row with. Yeah, so he's in Phoenix because Greedifer got shut down and moved to Phoenix. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yep. Maximum release. <laughs> Death Row. Well, that says Green. Yeah. State Correctional Institution of Green. Whatever. Due to my situation, many of my family members and friends have abandoned me. Prison, especially being on death row, is lonely and can be very difficult to deal with at times. I'm hoping to make a few friends <laughs> who will correspond with yeah, me. Well, Are well, you well, kidding me? What the fuck page is this? This, this is... is just reading what was, what was, this is like, up. do you yeah. want to be a bio. convicted murderer? <laughs> this, is <laughs> this is for pen pals. This is his, like, fucking oh, card. Fuck. This is this this a dating is, site for inmates. <laughs> like, this is about, literally oh, how sorry. Chris Manson... Er, Chris Manson. The person... Look what he wrote down for crime. None. The person whose life you Seeking snuffed out anyone. means nothing. Oh, I'm lonely. He's like, I'm lonely on death row. You know who's probably fucking lonely? Dying. The girl, the girl you fucking killed in the... Bash yeah. your fucking oh, head in. Piece of shit. I hope you're listening uh, to this, oh and I hope you're rotten hell. You know, I, I hope, hope you, you look yourself hell. up someday, and you know, there are still people out here who hate you, and you should just stay where you're at. I hope you rot in hell, and if you don't rot in hell, I hope I go to hell and make you fucking rot in hell. 
Yeah, he'll come back and he'll you find wanna, you. You want to be a demon? I'll be a demon yeah. just to fucking rob this motherfucker in hell. That's John as a demon. I, I have to pay. pay. Hey, show me your penis. <laughs> Hey, Miguel, do you have to pee? Fuck <laughs> <Aww. laughs> you guys. That was a good one. Uh, hey, yeah. Hope you gotta go really bad. Hang on a second. I was gonna torch you, but I gotta piss. Yeah. I'll be back in a second. Five minutes. Oh, you're not going anywhere. I'll be ripping, I'll be ripping your toenails out in a minute, but I gotta pee. <laughs> <sighs> oh, gosh. <laughs> so that's uh that's that's our good friend Harvey. Harvey Miguel. Douchebag. Piece of shit. Harley Miguel Robinson. Rotten hell. Not a fan. No. Not a fan. His fans only page gets no likes. It does not. He has no followers. I'm sure he does. That's what would be sad. I can't believe that it was like a dating site for fucking ten dollars and shit. Like what? Oh my God. I'm in search of well, anyone. Can't. Really? Are you? Are you I have no crime. I'm, should they do it all? I'm not really surprised, and that's what? that's what's sad. That's what it's coming to. They they all go off the like the 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 uh, the deep end the California motto. Uh, we're doing this new shit. Like Russell was big on that shit. Whoa, you just named names. We gotta have those cages. We gotta have Wait, this. We gotta give these people ice cream. Yo, next? I yeah. fucking love ice cream, bro. If I'm not getting ice cream in prison, that prison is not existing anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to that jail. I'm not getting ice cream. Bro. Yeah. That's just the way it is. All right. When I go to jail for attacking this convicted murderer on death row, well, I'll do my time for doing it. But I'm saying I'm not going someplace that doesn't have ice cream. And when they're all like, "Are you guilty? Like, how do you feel about this crime?" I'm just gonna be like, "Do I get ice cream? How many times a day?" Yeah. Like this guy obviously. You want to interview it. me? You pay me an ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't understand what you want. Like chocolate. Sorry, I don't. I don't speak English. I speak Rocky Road. I speak I want a plum, Rocky Road. What a Plum Creek Twister. Ah, they're so if good. John was an ice cream flavor, what Green ice cream flavor? Sprinkles. You would be pralines and dick. <laughs> you would be. Hmm. What's the weirdest flavor I can think of? Pralines and dick. Probably like bacon ice cream or something. I love bacon ice cream. You'd be cream. bacon jalapeno ice cream. Ooh, yeah, you would. If you were an ice cream, Mike, you'd be butthole. <laughs> <laughs> you'd just be butthole. And I'd wash butthole. <laughs> <sighs> well, this well, there you go. go. This did go downhill real quick. It did. Make sure you wash your buttholes, everyone. You don't want to be dirty butthole flavored ice cream. <laughs> I'm still burping up that. Oh, that pepper is so good. It is, but it's just sitting there for you, huh? I love it. I'm sure I'm going to get like ridiculous heartburn. Like, Absolutely. I'm probably be throwing up later on. That's why I didn't eat the jalapenos. What? I picked up the jalapenos and ate all the cheese. No. Yeah, with the chicken. It was delicious. You done fucked up, eh, Ray Ron? No, because here's the thing. I already know that I don't like jalapenos. I'm like Nathaniel, who thinks he doesn't like jalapenos. I already know I don't. So, instead of not enjoying my chicken, I took the two pieces. He doesn't like them. He was like, oh, I haven't tried them. I could have put a regular pepper in yours. I don't like peppers. That's the thing. Oh, it's, just, it's not jalapenos. It's the texture of peppers. You're just a whiny butch baby. So, anyways, I took, I was smart, and I took two pieces that had hardly any jalapeno. Like, the two pieces were like maybe just like... But less than a penny size. Just picked them out and ate the rest. Can great. I just say y'all motherfuckers are weird? You calling me weird? Yeah, you. You. What, what, why am I weird? Your son and Dev. Actually, all of Berks County. I'll call you out. We're not in Berks County. We're not in Berks County. We're in Schuylkill County. County and Berks County. Just eat what you're fucking given. Okay. I'm going to eat what you I fucking saying? like because this is a short fucking no, life. No, 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 no. I'm not saying eat what you what you like. I said eat what you're given. And I told you no. Eat what you're given. What the fuck are you talking about? I am an you're adult, given John. The food, you fucking eat it. You don't turn it down. When you... you like you're 900 pounds. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> my 900 pounds. I can't like, my I back. Me. Must I tell you my background? Dude, I... When I couldn't go into the military. Do I gotta... <laughs> oh, do no. I gotta... <laughs> 
No, it no. all starts with that. I, said, dude, I grew up the same way. We had nothing growing up, and if you yeah. didn't eat so, what was on your plate, I was telling my, I was so, tell, okay. I, was, I was telling my kid this weekend. I said, "Are you hungry?" She said, "No, no, no." I said, "You ain't fucking hungry." She's like, "I'm really hungry." I said, "No, you ain't hungry." I said, "You ever eat moldy bread?" No. So you ever take a piece of bread and rip the mold off and eat that? No. Ugh, of course not. Then you ain't fucking hungry. Let me tell you something, John. You're hungry. I'm hungry when I say I'm hungry. And <laughs> no, I'll it's eat, the sheets! I'll eat what I want to eat. Actually, I am going to sheets. <laughs> it's, I'm not see, getting well, food. I'm just saying that. But it's not about what you want to eat. It's about what there is there to eat. Right, but here's the thing is, I will find something that is here that I want to eat, but I'm only going to eat that thing that I want to eat. I'm not going to let anybody else tell me. Nothing. Exactly. That was the same way. Exactly. So, which was not. I would rather eat nothing than eat something that I don't like, exactly. because I enjoy eating. And that's why I was like And that's asshole. why. When I was a kid. It's like, <laughs> oh my god, there's, squir- there's squirrel eyeballs in the fridge. Like a vat of Mom, can you can you stop at McDonald's? No, we have food at home. The food at home. Squirrel eyeballs. <laughs> there was no McDonald's. There was nothing. There was no. That was not. That's existed. not even true. McDonald's has existed. Since well, it like, was, but, but there was no. The nineteen fifties, nineteen sixties. My parents were not about. My parents weren't taking me there. Well, sure, that's fine, but it still existed. My, it was more like this. Like, here's here's five dollars. Go to Sunoco and buy me a pack of cigarettes. Mm-hmm. For five dollars? So, whatever. This is, it about this five is five back in the 90s. Whatever it was. You get five bucks. So, like, let me give you two dollars, get some cigarettes, and then you can use 50 cents to get some gum. <laughs> or, yeah, whatever was left over, you would hustle to get, like, a bag of chips or... Yeah, I'm gonna hustle. Now, I remember my stepdad, he, he'd say... That's what you did, man. Here's ten yeah. bucks. Go in and buy me a carton of Marlboro. So, I'd go in and buy a carton of Marlboro. And back then, when you bought a carton, it was a little bit cheaper. Yeah. So... It was only like seven dollars for a carton. A little cheaper. But, yeah, <laughs> instead of seven dollars for a pack. Yeah. So but you got to remember, you're like a hundred years older than me. Shut up. So, so I would take the the three dollars and I'd buy three more packs of cigarettes, and that's how I started smoking. <laughs> See, I never started smoking with my dad. Well, I did eventually, but like he would send me to the store. I go to Sunoco. Here's money. Bought me a pack of uh, Marlboro Reds, and if I had cash left over, I buy, I buy homemade chips. No, my 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 stepdad said you you can take the change and, and get yourself something. And I I, You're I, like, I will thanks. I tell him I got an ice cream and I already ate it. You fucking pig. Okay. <sighs> See, my dad was so drunk he didn't even know. That's that's how my stepdad. He was, was probably like, take this fucking gold bar. <laughs> Go downtown and buy me a pack of cigarettes. I don't know what shit. And my, then, like, maybe a was stupid. Drunk or high. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> that's how I live. Yeah. That's how I fucking live. That's how we survived. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's what it was. So, we are done with this week's show. Absolutely done. <laughs> I need therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, bro. Jesus Christ, you brought up some old memory. <laughs> <laughs> you do need therapy. You just, you were just like, okay, okay, go ahead, Johnny. <laughs> Dude, I've been through so much therapy. We've all decided that Harvey Michael Robinson is a piece of shit. Yes. And Miguel. He should be killed. Yeah, Miguel. I think said Michael. Dude, why the I fuck are you <laughs> even housing this motherfucker? It's a waste of money. There should be somebody going there. Because he's got appeals in and you can't you can't execute him while he's got appeals in. Okay, we should go in there with a fucking uh, a nice clean white the sheet. The state can't execute him Listen, while he we, has appeals in. We should go in there with a nice clean white sheet crisp. Smelling like fucking bleach and just like clothes, straight clothes, out of, uh, straight out of the, grill. <laughs> yep. Wrap that thing around his neck and twist it up till he fucking turns blue in the face. I hate people. I'm just saying. Done. They could send him to wherever. Uh, what's the other dude who hung himself? We didn't hang himself. Epstein. Epstein. You could send him to Epstein's jail. Yeah. So anyway, we took on Harvey Michael Robinson. Now, we take on. Hold on, stop. 
Welcome back to the shit show 2.0. Okay, boomer. Damn millennials. Wow. <laughs> Did not know that. Even flirters who who are obviously mentally ill. Oh, this is gonna go downhill real quick.